deep radio frequency microneedling. And what do I refer to as deep? Anything above one millimeter. Keep that number in mind. Because if you go in and you get, say, Morpheus 8 treatment, because why would you do it? Well, you're trying to tighten up your skin, of your jawline, your neck. It's supposed to stimulate collagen. So you go in and do it. You're probably doing it at depths greater than a millimeter. And when you do it at depths greater than, millimeter, uh, than one millimeter, guess what's there? It's your facial fat. So what ends up happening is the skin of the face is almost at the deepest levels, about a millimeter. Most places it's even more uh, thin than that. So you put energy through radio frequency micro needles that bring energy and heat into the layers uh, depths greater than a millimeter. So two, three, four millimeters, sometimes even up to six. Where your needles are landing, where that energy is landing is in the subcutaneous fat. Subcutaneous fat means fat under the skin. When heat and fat mix, fat melts. When fat melts, guess what you end up with? Is skin that is no longer as supple, skin that has actually lost its supporting fat layer underneath it, which gives it its structure and integrity over the fascia, and the skin actually looks older. So people have said this for years now, and I swear, when I first heard it, I thought they were you know, just kind of like, I don't know, just saying, saying some stuff that I didn't believe. But then I saw it over and over again, I heard it over and now it's, it's a, it's a common truth. Everyone who's you know, been doing this long enough and has seen this long enough recognizes that there is thermal damage, there is loss of subcutaneous fat, and as a result, the faces actually look older. Hold on, I need to step in here as a clinician. I've been working with Morpheus Aid daily for almost five years now. I've been documented clinical cases, consistent photographic follow-ups, and long-term results even in slim patients. At one and two millimeters, we are stimulating collagen production. We are not melting fat. When you understand the patient's anatomy and you customize treatment plans, you are not creating any kind of damage. Now, if I want to work on areas of unwanted fat, like the double chins, I'm going with fixed mode to kill the fat at three and four millimeters okay, in a safe and controlled way. And in those cases, I use fixed mode to intentionally destroy fat in a very precise and controlled way. It's not about fear. It's about precision and clinical expertise. At one and two millimeters, we are stimulating collagen production. We are not melting fat.